This is the TT Artisan 25mm f2. It is a small, tiny, heavy lens for its size, and it is great for various types of photography like street and UGC, but more on that later. Disclaimer, TT Artisan did send me out this lens. They have no input in what I say, and this video is not sponsored. First, let's run through some specs, and then I will share with you some test shots I've taken with this lens. I am planning on making a full street photography run this year, and I just might take this out on that run. <music> TT Artisan 25mm f2 is a wide angle APS-C lens that is great for street, travel, flat lay, UGC, and brand content. It has a 61 degree wide angle of view, which means it is pretty wide, and with its seven blades that make up its f2 aperture, it is perfect for low light photography. This lens is great for the winter months when the days are short and the nights are long. It has smooth bokeh, which is great for shooting portraits, lifestyle photos, and wide angle product shots. And if you are shooting UGC and want to go for that, I shot this with my iPhone look, but still want a quality photo then you're in luck the smallest aperture of this lens is f16 so you can get more in focus when out shooting especially when you're out on super sunny days but you will still need an nd filter now here are some sample photos i've taken with this lens right here definitely need some work before I actually go out and do my full run of street photos. So I'm going to do a little more test shots with this lens and some other lenses that I'm thinking of taking out. Now, I think this lens is more of an enthusiast lens, the lens you would pick up if you don't mind manually focusing because you are really meticulous with the shots you want to get and you want to add some style and flair to your photos. But speaking of flares, this lens does flare a fair amount, which allows for more of the vintage look in your photos. I think the flare is very pleasing. Also, this is a manual focusing only lens. This means that you cannot autofocus with this lens even if your camera is in the autofocus mode. There are no electronic contacts at the back of the lens, which means it does not communicate with the camera at all whatsoever. So if you are out shooting street or anything else and you need the information from the lens, then you would have to bring out a notepad and write down your camera settings and the lens settings before you take every shot. As I said, this is more for the enthusiast who is looking for the vintage, completely manual shooting style and wants the full experience of manually shooting photography without having to get film developed. Not to say you can't do the same with an autofocus lens, but just know autofocus isn't an option with this lens. This is also for the content creator who does not want to pay an arm and a leg for a wide angle lens, doesn't mind manually focusing, is also looking to build up their photography skills and level up with their content they're producing. And yes, you can do all of this with a number of lenses on the market. I agree. And if this lens isn't for you, then you'll know by the end of this video. Now I do have to say, shooting with the Fujifilm X-H1 and having the control dials on top of the camera, plus the full manual lens made the whole shooting experience super cumbersome, but it made it more intentional. Instead of just firing away, I stopped, observed the environment, and took the shot, which allowed for more creativity. I will be releasing a full review of this lens, which will pop up right here when it is posted. If you got any value out of this video, don't be shy, hit the like button. But I wanna thank you for liking, subscribing, and staying awesome. Stay awesome.